Welcome to your weekly RV gadget fix. My name is Tony Flamia and I'm with the National RV Training Academy. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to this channel. Todd thinks that people only come here to watch Tech Tip Tuesday, so two minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Let's show them we love this gadget series. This week we're talking about soft starts for your RV air conditioning systems. Now, if you're looking to do off-grid camping, meaning you're not connected to any source of power, or maybe you'd like to do some mooch docking, which is when you're connected to your friends or your parents' outlet uh, in their garage and have minimal power to draw from, the soft start will become your best friend. If you're relying on a battery bank and inverter to start your AC, you're gonna wanna have something that reduces the startup current so you don't draw more power than your inverter can provide, or trip the breaker on your friend's 15 amp outlet in their garage. Most RVAC units can call of upwards of like 50 amps or more when the units start up. A soft start provides an effective solution that reduces the startup current, typically up to about 70%, but still provides full startup torque for their compressor motors. The startup of an air conditioner compressor is accompanied by an inrush of current of about seven to eight times higher than the running current and starting torque of up to three times higher than the running torque. A soft start will ease strain on the power source, but it will also be less stressful for the compressor itself since it starts more gently. There's a few manufacturers that make a version of the soft start, but what we've got is the soft start RV. Now, when I was traveling with my family in a class A motorhome, we had 1600 watts of solar on the roof. We had 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. But one of the things that we wanted to make sure we could do was run an air conditioner off of the inverter. Now we had a 3000 watt inverter. So without being connected to any kind of shore power, what we did was we put soft starts on our air conditioner. So at any point, if we wanted to run the rear AC, we were able to run that off the inverter because that initial surge of power wasn't there. A typical 2200 watt generator like the 2200i, which is kind of a standard unit in the RV world, uh, that will give you about 2200 watts peak, which is about 16.7 amps at 120 volts. The generator will not start a load that draws four to five times its peak rating. The solution is to reduce the peak LRA, so we can, so that's where the soft start came in. So with a soft start, you can start your AC rooftop unit under 20 amps of current. All right, so here's a question we get all the time. Will a soft start or any of the other type of soft start units out there, will they void my AC manufacturer's warranty? Well, as of right now, check with your manufacturer because they probably will. All right, technically it could void your warranty, but there are some manufacturers out there that are including this in their own AC units. So you'll find some newer units out there that are using soft starts in their air conditioners. So if you put a third party soft start on a brand new specific brand air conditioner, there is a chance it could void the warranty, but check it out, call them, check with your manufacturer and find out for yourself. And like anything, if you're going to put something on your rig, do some research, find out what's best for you. If you're out there and you'd like to learn how to fix the majority of the problems on your RV, check out rvtechcourse.com. If you'd like to make a living as a service tech or an inspector, go to nrvta.com and start today. Have an RV gadget you'd like to recommend? Post them in the comments below and then check out some of our tech tips in our playlist.